When most people think of Long Beach, California, they think of this. Beauty, wealth, happiness. The landscape, the homes, the cars, the people. But just seven minutes away from this, things look very different. And it's here that you'll find Holy Innocent School. At a glance, a stark contrast from the Long Beach that most people know. But it's not what's on the outside that makes this school so unique. It's what's happening on the inside. The pursuit of truth, the practice of goodness, the worship of Jesus Christ. And as a result, an appreciation for true beauty, true wealth, and true happiness. These things are every child's birthright, and they cannot be communicated through a screen or a state-sponsored program. They can only be communicated person to person, teacher to student, heart to heart. We're going on our third year of this beautiful renewal to true Catholic education. And since we've started, just miracles have been happening all around us. Education is first and foremost about a formation of the person. It's not just a passing along of facts. The classical approach is really predicated on discovering what truth is. God is the source of all truth, whether it's scientific truth or mathematical truth or historical truth or the truth that comes to us through literature. Truth brings in the moral component, it brings in the spiritual component to the facts that you are studying. I used to tell my students, you know, or the parents even sometimes coming, I'm preparing my students for heaven, not Harvard. That's our goal. We're really teaching them authentic truth and to see God everywhere. You know, our curriculum is putting God in everything, not just religion class. The beautiful part of this type of education is that they discover it and then it sticks with them. So kindergarten, for instance, we start with ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia, um, the cradle of civilization. We're able to delve into why God created us and why we're here to begin with. I taught for many years before I was introduced to the whole classical world the difference is huge, okay? It is a question of gaining information, but also gaining the thinking skills to use information wisely, to learn to examine my own thoughts, my own motivations. Good old Socrates, know thyself. And after that, being able to look at the world around me and have a depth to analyze that's what I want to see in them. The responses from the students have really been just a, a source of joy for me, just because they're, they're so into it. Our community is very unique in that we are in a Title I region. Many of our students belong to a low socioeconomic demographic, and, and that's just our neighborhood here around the school. You know, we call it the classical barrio, and it's such a unique thing to give to these kids. But in the sense, it's our kids deserve this. For me, it, it's been a privilege to see how these, these children who mainly have Spanish-speaking families at home, so they, they don't get that English support. But it's really beautiful to see how they, they too are understanding. It's being able to give them that foundation. I definitely see a love of learning in these children. They go home and they want to study. You know, they want to know more. So it really is for everyone um, because God is for everyone. And God wants us all to come to that profound uh, relationship with Him, that profound love story with Him. There's some comments about this mode of educating our children as being elitist. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to grow virtue, wisdom and virtue. and that. That's not elitist. That's just plain old Catholic. I think that's what really gives me hope is that we'll have people who don't have the faith just as a belief out here separate from the rest of their lives, but they will actually have their faith informing everything in their life and being the foundation for everything in their life. It's important to understand that your support doesn't just benefit us here at Holy Innocent School. It shows all other Catholic schools what's truly possible. I don't know students who don't 
deserve that gift. These children deserve the best, just like everybody else. I pledge to seek the truth and to love all that is good and beautiful. I will strive to achieve clarity of thought, nobility of character, and purity of heart. I will pursue my education with diligence, humility, and sincerity, embracing excellence and renouncing mediocrity. I will treat my teachers and peers with the utmost dignity and respect. I will honor myself and my family by giving my best effort daily. I will honor God by developing the gifts He has given me to the best of my ability. Above all, I will aspire to the wisdom of a life lived in faith, hope, and charity, fulfilling my destiny as a child of God. <laughs>